hello everyone welcome back again to my kitchens in today's video we are cooking some stew we are making chicken stew soft chicken okay the one we call chicken lap <laughs> so we are making this stew with chicken lap but first of all we are going to be grilling this uh, the chicken okay so i have washed and cut my chicken the chicken is washed cut and i mm, paper dry it or that or we dry it <laughs> so i had my pepper my garlic and ginger powder some salt to taste some chicken spices some maggi you know we said it before in this channel we season our meat with everything we are going to be using to cook the stew or the soup so we are and fry this chicken so and right now our chicken is well fried, hell fried and ready. I have fried this chicken for like 25 minutes or 25 minutes and the chicken was ready well fried and it tastes really nice guys and I love it. So I'm going to be setting this aside to start the stew because we are making this before we start <laughs> making our stew okay. So for the stew, I'm using some olive oil because right now it's difficult to get oil. <laughs> so I had in some sliced onion. So let the onion translucent or release its own flavor to the oil. So I had in some rosemary and some bay leaf. I give this a nice stir. <laughs> and now I'm just going to be adding our tomato paste. <laughs> I had in some tomato paste, give this a nice stir and let the tomato paste fried really good, okay? And look at that. This is how you know your tomato paste is well fried to, to not to have that salt taste, okay? We are cooking Africa stew, no salt taste. We are not adding lemon to this. This is African stew, well fried, okay? The stew will be begging you and fry. So I had in my tomato mix, which contain of onion, paprika, garlic. I did not have fresh tomato. We are not using fresh tomato to this. We wanted to make a uh, jollof rice initially. I said, no, let me make stew, okay? And right now you can see our tomato is bringing out some oil at the top, but it's not ready just look at the process there is oil here it's not ready when it's ready you are just going to know that your your stew is ready the whole neighbor will be doing <laughs> the whole house will be smelling good and you have to start locking your door so that the odor will not transfer to your clothes or <laughs> to all the parts of the house so i let it sit on the fire for more minutes and look at that my stew all that my tomato is well fried and ready i'm just going to be adding only pepper to this this is grounded dried pepper okay we are now adding some fresh pepper i had one one pepper before but that one was fresh pepper so we are just adding some grounded pepper i give this a very nice tail and i continue frying <laughs> our stew is almost ready oh guys this stew is finally ready everybody can see that the stew is well fried and ready and that is my meat stock for the previous food i made my fried rice recipe okay i preserve it in the fridge i had it in the stew then i had in my grilled chicken look at that our perfectly cooked grilled chicken stew is almost ready so i'm just going to be missing this to the stew thank you all so much for your love and your support i so much appreciate guys please don't forget to drop your own comment for me in the comment section tell me what you'll be having with my stew are you having spaghetti or the rice or yam mm, for me i eat everything with stew i eat okra <laughs> so this stew will be enjoyed with okra we'll be enjoyed with spaghetti we'll be enjoyed with yam 
you'll be enjoying with plantain. <laughs> I love stew. It's so versatile. When you have stew, you can make anything. So our stew is almost ready or our stew is ready. So I'm going to be adding some spring onion. If you like some spring onion, for me, I like spring onion for the for, for the health benefit and also the aroma it releases to food. So I just went ahead to slice some spring onion. Please guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for your love and your support guys. I so much appreciate. So I just go ahead to slice some spring onion. Our stew is perfectly ready. If you don't like those kind of things, don't use it. Many of my things are preserved in the fridge. I had in some spring onion from the fridge, not fresh one. And that is the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and see you all in the next video. Enjoy the rest of the video and bye.